So greetings, today I'm going to be speaking about a broad consensus of things that are going on in this country. And I'm, it's not going to be a political point of view. This is going to be about my observation from what I see and what I hear. And again, because you get a lot of con um, conflicting information from the media and also from government and from people and whatever. But I'm just getting from what I just see and just my version. And yeah. So anyway, I'll see you after the intro. So greetings, my name is Jay, and this is Carnacolytics, where we learn together and we grow together in the sight of God. So today I'm going to speak about um, what's going on in this country, in the UK, right now, from the aspects of, obviously, the lockdown parties, to the um, energy prices going up, to um, how people are just feeling, and feeling really disgruntled, and... But what I'm not going to do is really focus upon these real or these stories. I'm going to mainly talk about giving you guys a bit of um, guidance out of it and how um, you can adapt and how to help you get through these times, which is pretty much, um, yeah, it looks like it's going to be pretty tough. So... Again, you know about the lockdown parties and, you know, Boris is going through a lot of hard times with it all. And I'm not going to go into it because you know what the situation is. So I'm not going to be talking about that. But it's what I want to focus upon is people's um, feeling about feeling that they felt let down. And look, we all go through things. This is just a reflection of, I honestly believe, the universe or God making you see that p even people in power are normal because when I was growing up and anyone who is above 45 or more or younger slightly younger there was this hierarchy there was the UK government and people the, the wealthy elite and it was the poor and sometimes you got the working class um you guys who probably watch this um because my age range is normally from 25 to 40, 50. So you guys will probably understand what I'm talking about. But now it seems to be that those people in power are becoming, are being shown that they're not immortal. They're not these superhumans. They're not some kind of elite. They are just normal human beings doing a job. Now, it sounds like I'm trying to defend them and I'm not doing that. But I honestly feel like if you're in a public role, yeah, and you're doing a public role like the like a prime minister or you're in the cabinet or whatever, um, you're and even a celebrity when you're a celebrity, there comes an element of that you it's a part of um, you got to get it always get it right. It's just what people expect, you know. And I honestly believe in in an essence, I think that belief comes from Her Majesty the Queen. I honestly do believe that. And it's not a criticism of her, it's actually a praise. And it's because she, um, the way she looks at things and her line, never complain, never explain. She just gets on with it. And she sees something going on and she acts in it. Sometimes she does stuff behind closed doors, which um, people don't know about which influences um, the overall di direction of, of things in this country because first port call, her allegiance is to make sure the UK is safe and a Commonwealth. So just there, she could have pulled rank with, for example, when her husband died and she could have pulled rank and said, well, I want my family to sit with me, but she didn't because she honestly wanted to show her people, that she was like us, you know, that she went into, so that I may be the queen, but if anything, I, I want to show you that I, 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 I understand. I, I, I'm, a, I'm with you. I am with you. 
with this, you know, and I honestly believe that she she had a massive hand in the way I know Philip organized it, but I honestly believe she had a massive hand in how she was viewed right the way through that. And it's not a PR stunt. I honestly believe it was to, to morale. You got to think about the, the times of when the Queen came to power. Now, let me just explain something about the Queen. The Queen was educated of queenship, if you want to call it that, by Queen Mary, right? Queen Mary was her grandfather's, um, it was her grandmother then, basically. Um, so it was her dad's mum. And Queen Mary was the one who is kind of said to her, stick with me and I will show you how it is. And it, I, but if I remember correctly, and if I get this wrong, so I apologise, I believe that never complain, never explain came from her. So, and so far, it's kind of in some ways, yeah, you can say that it's sometimes the Queen feels detached, but what the Queen does do, she goes by the mood of the country. And I know I'm going off kind of off tangent and I'm talking about the Queen here more about then what's going on in the media or out in society. But I honestly believe that there is a precedent going on here. Yeah, and I think these people in power need to look to her or she needs to step in in some way to say, look, you need to start looking at what my people are saying. You need to be accountable for these changes, these things, because you can see it in the rhetoric. You can see when people are talking about it, they always point to her, they always point to the queen. They always say, when her husband died, she did X, Y, and Z, right? But nobody in power seems to pick that up. It is totally, utterly ridiculous. Utterly ridiculous that this woman, elderly woman who ran this country or head of state for over 70 years you know she's still there she ain't gone she's still there you know and as she said she's been there and but yet no one seems no one in power seems to understand that, that if they want a role model they should go and look at her and how she looks at it. i mean she's been in power for over 70 she's the longest monarch and she's doing something right yeah because all the things that were going on under her under her reign, you know, from the divorces in her family of her kids to the death of Diana to um, Princess Margaret, all these stuff going on, all these scandal stuff, she still rides the storm. But yet people doesn't seem... All right, the Prime Minister goes and visits her once a week, talks about um, st a heads up uh, things in state, what's going on with... His in state you know um what's going on with the country and she kind of like comments and stuff and gives guidance from what we know but i honestly believe that like she did like the queen did she got schooled by queen mary and she got schooled by winston churchill then she got um she started talking to some odd not so activists people that connected with their people and I honestly believe most people in power are not connected with the with, with people. And when I, I just saw some um, guy say, like, I think he's from the Bank of England, say that we should not, um, the, the, the inflation's going up or the fuel price is going up. We shouldn't, um, therefore, um, ask for pay rises. <laughs> I'm sure... These people are like 200 grand a year. They're going to fucking affect you, is it? I mean, I've just, there's people who are, who are just scrimping fucking by, by the, by the skin of their fucking teeth, with their children, through lockdown, and these people are struggling, and then you're coming up with something. Oh, I was, I was, I was like, really? Are you honestly serious? I mean, there were people who, are, who can't make ends meet. Yeah, the tummy ends meet and they're struggling and people say, don't, you know, fuel prices are going up and we just need to just ride with a storm. Yeah, you would say that because you're on a hundred grand a year or more. But yet you've got someone who is got four or five children on benefits and who are struggling. Or you've got someone who's on families who 
have a, who have two fam who have two parents working to make it make ends meet. But now things are getting worse. Things are getting worse, and don't upset the rhetoric. And I know this is not this is not spiritual, and it's not political. I'm talking from a social point of view, and it's this is my my view on it and how I feel um, that people honestly, I honestly believe the Queen. Or this is my view, my feeling. I think the Queen should come out and say and give a speech saying to the whole of her nation, look, we are now out of um, lockdown. We, we're now getting back to normal. And yes, things are tough. But because the mood changed in this country, whether you're a royalist or not, right, it doesn't matter. But you've got to give the woman credit. Yeah, you've got to give this woman credit. She stayed in power, right, when others were falling, she stayed in power and still put her people first. Whether you believe what she did do on or not, and there's people around her, right, that don't agree with some of the things she does do, but she is still here on the throne. She's still um, looking at the mood of the country. She's still looking at the mood of the country. And I'm sure, you can't quote me on this, I'm not, they're not spies, but I'm sure she's got people out there that feel, go out and do feelers into the, on the nation. Not, not PR spinners, not those people. They just, like, they're like um, PR gurus, so they kind of um, spin doctors, that's what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about those. Spin doctors will see something going on and then try and change it, say, oh, I wasn't there. Or, um, yes, I've done that, but somebody else told me to do it. But I, but what I feel she probably got out there is that she got people in the community, and so she has garden parties, for example, and she talks, and people say, "You listen, you got to listen, you got to listen to when these people report the, the conversations they have with her." They turn around and say, "She asks me, how we, how am I getting on in life? How am I getting on? How how's this going? How's it?" She's not asking it for the sake of just being by being nice. She's doing it because she honestly really wants to fucking know. She really wants to know what's going on in her, in her country. And I honestly believe these people in power need to look to her more. And maybe we won't be going through this shit that we're going through if they actually look to someone who knows what they're bloody doing. You know, and I honestly believe a lot of my, honestly, my, my version in my life, I've taken on, I've taken on her, her mantra you know, never complain, never explain. And I don't have to explain anything to anybody um, if they are asking me something and if I don't need to tell you. You want to need to know basis. I don't just say it for the sake of it because this is my life and it's how I want to do things. And if it's for the good of my family, I'm talking about my two boys and my grandson, I wouldn't turn around and say anything to it, to to kind of shame them in any way and only to make them proud, you know? So they're my people, yeah? They are my people. They are my responsibility. They're how I got to look out for those people. And I think some families are, do, are trying to do that, but they are struggling. They are struggling. And I think, I feel that we need to bound together and you know i i really i really this has really been plaguing me for months honestly since before christmas i wanted to do this video and i wasn't in that space in my head or in my heart and i still uh, struggling in some ways is this right rhetoric for what i do and it was only when i was speaking to somebody today and um and he said but this is who you are you are a social reporter. You are, you talk about things socially, what you see and how you say it. And a friend of mine said, I like your videos because you talk about, um, you explain things more. Like when I do readings, I don't just read the cards. I read the cards and then I explain the journey and give alternate roadmaps you can take. You know, that's how I work. So 
yeah, I don't know. And again, this is not me being political. This isn't a political thing. This is just my version. And I don't want to, it to, because I represent the Almighty and I feel a lot of the things I talk about come from his influence. And at the end of the day, like when they say God doesn't get involved in political stuff, of course he bloody does. Fucking wake up. This is his planet. Of course, he doesn't sit there on his golden throne and thinking, oh, well, I'll leave it to them today and I'll just leave it down to evolution. He doesn't do that. He's involved in it. Whether you fucking believe it or not, you stay in your little shed and you believe that, oh, no, God don't get involved in political movements. Of course he fucking does. Where do you think you got activists from? Where do you think you got people, hearts changing in power? Do you think they've just done it because of their own, oh, I realised, oh, yeah, maybe I should change. No, he sways things. He gets involved. And I'm hoping this triggers some people out there to know with prayers and with guidance and belief and faith that things can shift for your better for you. So I'm going to leave it there. And you know what? I love you guys, you know, and I really, really, really am passionate about just kind of talking about stuff. And I'm going to, I'm going to hook up and speak to you soon, mate, and see what my next video is going to be about. And, you know what? Look after yourself and I'll see you on the next video. God bless and namaste.